Hi everyone, this is the sixth video of the Cameo Magic Draw plugin development lessons. Today's topic is working with selection. My name is Jolt and I will be your host today. One of the fellow members of the systems engineering community reached out to me with a problem. He had the following situation. He had a block definition diagram and on this diagram he had multiple blocks. What he needed is to have a solution that displays the name and the attributes of the selected blocks. Let's see what we can do. I just used an already existing project, kind of copy pasted it and uh, rewrote a, an action uh, for that purpose. So let's see how you can do that, how you can uh, get the selected items from a diagram and uh, iterate over them and get their attributes and name and, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, this is a, a standard uh, method called action perform. And the first thing we need to do is get a reference to the project. And the way we can do that, as you remember, through uh, this application class, so we can say application get instance and get project. This will return the, the actual project, the current project. And uh, what we need is to get also the active diagram. Active diagram is the current diagram that you can see on your screen. There is only uh, just one uh, diagram uh, which is active. So we'll ask for this. And this is we can do to the project. So we can say project. Uh, and get active diagram and it will return an active diagram. Here uh, we should probably do a null check. So if active diagram uh, is not null, then do the stuff that we need. That's, that's one way to do. If you don't like it, you can always just return so that there is there is another way it's a kind of someone likes to do it like this way an alternative to this would be to check if it's null and just then simply return and that's it so those are i think good solutions okay so what we want to do here is to iterate over each and every uh, element, uh, each and every selected element actually. And we need, we want to kind of uh, collect all those informations. So for that, we create a string buffer. Uh, this is just a buffer where you can append text at the end of the buffer and at the end you can uh, ask for the whole string. This is like a, a very dumb solution, which is more, more like for a presentation purposes. So the first thing uh, need, we need to do here that uh, we already have the diagram, uh, we need to retrieve the selected elements. So you can do it by calling active diagram uh, dot get selected. So uh, active diagram dot get selected. As you can see, this returns a list of presentation elements and uh, if you watched the uh, videos earlier, a presentation element is something that is uh, displayed uh, on a diagram. And it is a presentation of, of this displayed element. So it is not the model element, but just a presentation. So it has some uh, uh, top left coordinates, some width, some height, some color, what's not. But it also references a model element. That's what we actually need. We can get the model element that is referenced by the diagram element, it's calling the get element method of that presentation element. So uh, we can say that uh, selected element dot get element, or maybe we should rename it. So I'm just like to presentation element because it's actually a presentation element. And this way now we have the model element. And um, so what we want to do here is we want to check the type of this element. So imagine we have like lots of elements of the different types, enumerations or 
uh, classes or you know what's not and in our code we don't want to work with each and every element we just want to work with a specific type of an element and in this case it, it would be a class so this class is actually uh, referencing a magic draw classes MD camel dot class which is not the Java class um, as a you know as part of the Java uh, framework but this class is a uh, 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 UML representation as you can see this is in, in, in the UML package so it is in the, the domain in the namespace in the, in the conceptual model of the UML so if this model element is actually of this type of this class then of course we need to cast it because because the element is, is very generic and uh, so we want to work with it, it, its attributes and so on and so forth and then in order to do that we need to cast it so that we can call the uh, corresponding properties so now this uml class is of a type uh, class this is a class as you can see and so we have this string buffer and to the string buffer we can simply append the name of the class and of course a new line so the next step is to uh, list the attributes of the selected class and uh, the way we can do that is uh, use the uml class and call the get owner attribute method and uh, how we can check this uh, in the model to, to which uh, method uh, we need to call it's basically rather simple so we go in the specification and we check for owned and here we can see that we need here the owned attribute and basically that's it so this will iterate over the attributes and what we will do here is we will uh, write in in the buffer the name of the attribute and uh, the type of the attribute actually calling the type and the type name of the attribute uh, and we will add uh, uh, these various helper things that we can see it it better as so a new line and and and, and those, those characters as well so and basically that's it and then we can display this information that we collected uh, in, a, in a dialogue mm, that's just for presentation purposes and at the end we can write it to a file uh, java has this files.write string um, method that can write uh, a string to a file basically and uh, it requires a pass so we need to create a new file uh, with a you know like with a pointing to a, a, a file location if the file doesn't exist it will create a new one and we need to call those, these dot two paths method and that's it and then uh, we will make from this buffer a string so this is like result dot two string it will create a string and we need this method might throw an exception we just uh, put it into a, a try catch and we'll ju just uh, in, in, in case we have some issue here we'll just print uh, this factory this, this is not nice don't do that this is just for demonstrational purposes so if we go back to Cameo then, uh, then let's see how it works so I can select this item uh, I added this new action here and I can click it as you can see it uh, displays the name and the first attribute and also the type of this, uh, this attribute but if I select uh, two items and I then uh, we will see the first class with an attribute and the second class also with an attribute and what if we add another attribute so this is like a, another attribute which is of of a type of a second class actually we can do something like this so we will see hopefully yeah we'll see also the second attribute so basically basically that's it it was it was really really simple i would say and uh, 
of course we can check the file so here here is the file and uh, it brought out the, the, those informations and I think I can reopen it and uh, because I just selected the first uh, so just the my class uh, it, it displayed the name of the class and both attributes and that's it so it's you can see that that it actually works um, so that's for now uh, just some usual stuff uh, I added the whole lesson the source code for the whole lesson to github so using this command you can download it and and, and check and uh, in case you'd like to connect uh, you can reach me on this email address or on the LinkedIn or even you can uh, check my blog so that's for now and thank you for your attention and see you next time